Hey folks, in this session, we'll see how you can download and use local AI models on your machine using Oliama. But first, why use local models at all? It allows you to experiment with AI and build prototypes of your application at no cost. And because everything runs locally on your machine and you don't have to set up cloud resources and access, you can have a fast inner development loop. And also because everything's local, it means that you can develop without requiring an internet connection. It also makes the testing of your application easier and cheaper, especially when you have to evaluate your AI outputs against many different metrics. Now, the question that usually comes next is, what are my options if I want a high quality local model? We've released the 5 free model family which is a series of small language models, or SLM, that provides great performance, especially for their size. The test shows that their performance is on par with much larger models such as GPT-3.5, and they include responsible AI safety alignment to prevent harmful content from being generated. And they are also tuned to follow instruction, just like your regular chat models. In particular, the mini model version is especially interesting as it can run even on devices with moderate specs like mobile devices. And they're available in many platforms, but the easiest way to run file free is using Oliama. So what's Oliama? Oliama is an open source tool that uses the Llama.cpp server under the hood, which is one of the most active inference servers in the open source community. It allows you to run SLMs and LLMs on your local machine and is optimized for both CPUs and GPUs. And you can use it to download models directly. It provides a library of quantized models which are optimized version of the models at the cost of some quality loss. So that means that you can choose your trade-off between speed and quality depending on your needs. And finally, it comes with an OpenAI compatible API, so it can work with the already existing applications and makes it easy to swap in the model that you're using when working locally or deploying to the production. Now, let's see how it works in practice. The first thing you want to do is to go to the oliama.com website to download Oliama and install it on your machine. You can also have a look at the model library that it provides um, yeah, if you select one model, you can get more details about it and see all the versions that are available. One of the first things you might want to do after downloading and installing Oliama on your machine is download a model. You can do that by running the command Oliama pool followed by the model name. In our case, we'll be using the file free model. You can also use the command Oliama list to see all the models that you've installed and downloaded on your local machine. Now, what can you do with Oliama? Maybe you want to run a UI to play with the model. By running this Docker command, it's starting a UI on, on my local machine that uses Oliama as its backend to run a ChatGPT-like interface. Now, going back to the browser, if I open the localhost on port 3000, the first thing I'll see is, the, is this web UI. So first, you have to create uh, an account. So, okay, uh, you can say just about anything uh, because it's all local on your machine. So, okay, let's go. First thing, you need to pick up a model. So let's use Five free uh, to see what it can do. And then let's try to see one of the example prompts. So let's see, for example, give me some ideas of what to do with my kids' art. And now, as you can see, I get an answer from the model, except that everything, including the AI and the model, is running fully locally on my machine. Okay, this is great, but I'm a developer and I want to develop application using that. So let's switch back to VS Code and play a bit with the HTTP API. So first, Oliama provides an endpoint uh, to generate text completion. So for example, I can send in a prompt, choose the model and specify a few options in there. 
And then if I send in the request, I can get a result. Okay, so this is hello world in Japanese. Next, I have a more conventional chat completion API. So using just something that uh, looks like the OpenAI API, you can send it your system prompt and your user prompt and get the answer right from the API. So okay, in French, you say bonjour, in Japanese, konnichiwa, and so on. You also have an API to generate embeddings. So this time I'm using a different model because embeddings, uh, for embeddings, you have to use dedicated models to transform the text into vectors. So here I can send a few texts in there, send it to the model, and I'll get back the vectors as a result. So this is my first vector and this is my second vector. And one of the best things with Oliama is that it also provides an API that's compatible with OpenAI. So that means using existing tools and SDKs, you can query Oliama just like you would do uh, using the OpenAI API. You can even set to use JSON mode in there. And you can see that I get an answer that is basically the same as the one you will get from the OpenAI API. That also means that you can use the regular OpenAI SDK to connect uh, to Oliama, just like you would do uh, in your application. So here, I can just set the base URL to my Oliama local server. The V1 is the OpenAI compatible endpoint in there. I still need to provide an API key even though it's not used uh, by Oliama. And then I can use my familiar OpenAI SDK to create completion. So, okay, let's see some talk in pirate style. So let's run this example. And yeah, here we get the answer. In the next video, we'll experiment a bit more with Oliama and the file free model using an online playground that you can use for free directly from your browser.